slender pianist in a black and red costume started playing Bach's Partita, number one. was playing the preludium. Thousands of picturesque parachutes began peacefully descending on the pea-green prairie. A philosopher living next to the pianist's property found petit paw prints on the plain parts of his Persian carpet. A boy from the azure parachute shot an autistic armadillo accurately with his aluminum air gun.
while the pianist was playing the Alamad, an antique shop across the street from the Association of Astronauts accidentally caught on fire. When the pianist was ready to play the corrente, he heard a celestial Celtic chant from the corridor of the philosopher's cottage. played the first chord of the Saraban. Something small fell from the shelf of his saloon. a snail on a swaying spire. Swaying spire, swaying spire, smell spire, smell spire, smoke spire, smoke spire, smell spire, smell spire, smell spire, smell spire. The smell of smoke from the burning shop. When the pianist played 
the first phrase of the minuet one. The boy met the philosopher who was murmuring a meaningless metaphor to himself. The boy met the philosopher who was murmuring a meaningless metaphor. The boy met the philosopher who was murmuring a meaningless While the pianist was playing the minuet one, a basket of mellow mangoes were delivered to the maid of her mansion. the pianist proceeded to the minuet two. The boy saw a magnificent migratory bird eating a snail in the mirror of his memory. was playing the minuet too. The philosopher planted a magnolia tree midway up the mountain. Up the mountain, 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 up the
while the pianist was playing the giga, the boy dropped a garnet glass ball onto the gloomy ground. When the penis played the last note of the giga, a giant gazelle that had been grazing gently behind the philosopher galloped away. As the moon neared, eclipsing the sun completely, the pianist started playing Bach's Partita Number Two to be continued. Symphonia. Children sitting on a shadowy slope began discussing the structure of the solar system. Children sitting. Children sitting. Solar system. On a shadowy slope. Sitting, began discussing solar system, the structure sitting, of the solar system. Solar system sitting, on a shadowy slope. Solar system. While the pianist was playing the last part of the symphonia, a sturdy saxophonist was slowly approaching a statue standing on the silent slope. Proceeded to the Alamant 
an albatross laughed at the anarchism of the aristocracy in an affected manner on an angular rock. was playing the alamand. The children assembled asters to attract the attention of the albatross. The first note of the corrente, a clown in a colorful costume, came up to a crossing point on the slope with crystal cubes clinking in his hand. The pianist was playing the corrente. The saxophonist was contemplating how to contrive. Right after the pianist played the last chord of the sarabande, the starved albatross swiftly swallowed a small shaggy seashell on the sandy beach. <laughs> When the pianist started playing the rondo, she felt a radiant reminiscence of her rebellious romance with a retired revolutionist.
While the penis was playing, the rondo, the children, rode was the rugged beast, ringing the bell on the rare bicycle. When the pianist played the last chord of the rondo, she heard a ravishing resonance under the round table in her room. When the pianist played the first phrase of the capriccio, the clown heard the news of a Colombian coal tanker capsized off the coast of Costa Rica. The children were cheerfully clinging to a roller coaster constructed close to a collapsed coliseum near the beach. The children were cheerfully clinging to a roller coaster constructed
the pianist started playing Bach's Partita, number three, to be continued. dropped a small amount of ash onto an aerogram on its arrival. of the ambassador called an ambulance as he was afraid of another accident. After the pianist played the first phrase of the corrente, a crow confined in a cage under the ceiling of a cathedral called upon the conductor, Con Bravura. Wow. 
while the pianist was playing the corrente. The conductor was crucified by a catastrophe that occurred during the chromatic cadence of a cantata. Playing the scherzo, 
to the forest to set up a secret satellite to search for subatomic substances in space. He suffered from the symptoms of sneezing.
the sun fully reappeared, someone knocked on the door of the slender pianist's house. 